Hello everyone, uh, Ori Bloop here. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, in today's tutorial, uh, it has been actually requested a couple times. Uh, it might be a little bit confusing because, uh, I don't know, it might seem a little bit random, but uh, today's episode we will be making, or today's tutorial, we will be making a cookie clicker, uh, just the setup. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a series on this unless you guys really want to see something. I'm just going to be uh, doing like a really, really quick setup. So uh, let's go ahead and just get started. So the first thing we want to do is um, add our cookie to the screen. So um, let's go to edit. And um, I made a little cookie uh, texture right over here. It's, it was really, really easy to make. So, you know, you guys are definitely capable of doing this. Um, but let's go ahead and just add that to... Um, just to our game, just like that. And what we're going to want to do is uh, we need our camera to lock on to our cookie because it is our main um, target. So we're going to do objects, game screen slash camera, and grab our game screen. Uh, we just are going to make it a little bigger so it, everything is in proportion to the screen, just like that. Uh, yeah, that looks actually really good. So um, we'll keep it like that. Uh, and actually, let me go back in the, the play. So you guys are up to decide if you guys want a background or if you want to keep the sky. Uh, but in this uh, setup, I'm going to actually um, add a custom background. So uh, it's just going to be a solid color just so uh, you could see the cookie better. But um, if we go to edit and go to objects and we go to um, simple objects and box, we're gonna actually add a box in the background of our cookie. So um, we're gonna just scale up this box object like that. And what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm making it the exact same size of our game screen. So it takes up the complete, uh, the complete game screen. So let me go ahead and go into the object settings. Uh, we're gonna turn off destructive, destructible, and we're gonna turn off movable. And then uh, for the color, uh, I think I'm going to actually do orange. So I'm going to change it there. Of course, you guys could uh, decide what you want to do with it. Uh, and then for the Z, uh, for the size, I'm going to do 0.10. And then for the position, I'm going to move it a little bit back. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do 0.20, positive 0.20. And if we go ahead and look in the game, we see that our cookie is uh, appeared in the main screen. But you can tell that we have a little bit of a white border. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and make my game screen a little bit smaller so we can get rid of that white border. Just like that. So now we have just a uh, orange screen in the background. Um, so you guys are up to decide if you want to remove this shadow. But uh, personally, I'm going to remove it just because um, I want it to be really, uh, you know, contrasting between the cookie itself and the background color. So I'm going to go to settings and what we're going to grab is our world node on. So uh, grab the world and we're going to go into the settings for it. Um, for the world shape, we're just going to do none because we don't need a plane uh, for this world. And for the world lighting, I figured this out actually before, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. You guys can copy. So the sun direction is going to stay at negative 130, and then the sun height is going to be um, 20. So let me go ahead and move it down to 20, just like that. And we have a little bit of a shadow there, but um, I'm keeping that there just for the um, aesthetic. Of course, you guys could uh, mess around with it and get it so that... Um, it looks exactly how you want, but I'm going to leave this uh, tiny bit of shadow uh, there. Uh, so now what we're going to do is add the actual uh, clicking uh, function to it. So uh, if you guys could see, uh, we have our little uh, pointer. And if you guys don't know, you can connect a mouse to uh, GBG and it has full functionality. Um, so if we click, we want the cookie to uh, count up. And we want to do the same with an A button or, or if we press on the actual switch itself on the screen. So what we can do is if we go to uh, the edit mode again, we're going to go ahead and go to input and we're going to do touch screen. Um, and then we're going to do if touched. Uh, and what this means is uh, 
if we either touch on the actual um, Nintendo uh, Switch screen itself, or if we touch with a mouse, it will still work. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this, if touched, um, about the same size as the cookie. Uh, we don't want to make it any um, smaller, just so people don't misclick it. Okay, just like that. We can actually make it. Okay, that works. And uh, we're going to go into the settings of the if touch um, sensor. So uh, we're going to go to edit. Um, so for output timing, we're going to do on touch because we don't want it to count up while we're touching it. And uh, touch where to output. Uh, we need to make sure that it's this node on because we don't want to be touching anywhere. We want to touch the cookie. So let's do this node on as well. Um, so right now it's not connected to anything. So um, there's no information for it to display. So we're going to actually go ahead and make some uh, thing to display on. So if we go to uh, middle, we're going to get a counter because it's going to be obviously counting up. Uh, if you guys know how to how a cookie clicker game works. Um, and for the if touch, we're going to just connect it to the count up for the counter. And for the uh, output of this counter, we can go ahead and just get um, go to objects, special objects and get a uh, number object so it can display. Um, we're going to go into the settings and we're going to make the whole number digits five, just the max. And we can go ahead and turn off destructive, destructible and movable just like that. And we can make this just a little bit smaller and we'll just put this right directly under our cookie. Um, we can also go ahead and with the output from the counter, we can connect it directly to our uh, number object, just like that. And if we go ahead and look in the game, we see that we have a little bit of a counter right here. And if we press it, it counts up and we can of course spam the, the mouse button and it will work. And if we go ahead and click anywhere out of it, uh, it won't count up unless we click the cookie itself, um, just like a cl cookie clicker should. Um, so we're going to actually move this uh, little white box because um, I want it to be flesh with the orange. So what you can do is, um, since uh, if we make this invisible, uh, the numbers will disappear. But if you guys want to know a little bit of a trick um, that I actually saw in uh, comments in my last video, um, we're going to go into objects. Uh, we're going to get a um, texture object and we're not going to put anything on the texture so that the um, numbers still show up. So if we go and connect this to our number object and make uh, the number object invisible, uh, what we should see is that the uh, box itself disappears, but not the numbers. And of course, it still displays um, our numbers. So right now, if we either touch it with a mouse or we touch uh, the screen on the cookie, um, it should work. But um, I wanna go ahead and add uh, an A button as well. So uh, people without a mouse uh, could still press it. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to input and button press, and we're just gonna get an A. And you can actually go ahead and just connect this A directly to the count up as well. So if we go ahead and take our controller, you can now spam A, but if you see, we can just hold it down. So we need to go ahead and change that. So in the A button, we're gonna go ahead and change it to on press. So we won't be able to hold it down. So now, every time we press it, it will count up. Now, in terms of uh, advancing, um, if you guys know how cookie, cl uh, cookie clickers work, is that you eventually advance. Um, and you can definitely do this in this uh, really easily if you go ahead and take middle and comparison and equal sign you can now set a um, Like, you know marks on on where you would get um, a certain advancement So uh, for instance, let's go ahead and let's say if we get to 10 uh, There will something will happen. So if we go to input and get a constant we're gonna go ahead and make this a 10 just because it's gonna be comparing itself with it. So, oh, not there. We're gonna put it at the input two. So now what happens is once our counter counts up uh, you know, to 10, it will compare with our constant and then it will give an output. And you guys, of course, could add whatever sort of element you guys would want. 
um, but let's go ahead and just add um, a visual effect. So for uh, visual effects, go to special objects, effects, and we're going to go ahead and select fireworks. Uh, go ahead and connect it to the result, and if we go in the fireworks settings, uh, we will just leave it at our camera just so it appears in front of us. Um, you guys could def definitely change that if you want, but now what should happen is if we reach 10, uh, fireworks should go off. So let's go ahead and reach 10. So 7, 8, 9, and 10, just like that. Um, and of course, you can keep clown counting, and then uh, you can make other things happen. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the uh, cookie clicker. I know it was sort of a random video out of nowhere, but um, I was getting comments on this on how to make it. But uh, hopefully this helped the people that needed this and uh, I'll catch you guys in another tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.